Muhammad Ali was one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. By the time Ali's career was over, he ranked with Joe Louis and Rocky Marciano at the top of the heavyweight class. Ali was known for his hand and foot speed. He was also a surprisingly powerful puncher. He was a hard worker in training camp and used diet and exercise to get in top condition. To become a champion, Ali knew he had to train like one. As soon as he was introduced to boxing as a teenager, Ali knew he wanted to become the greatest boxer ever, and for that, he was willing to put the work in and become the best. Angelo Dundee, who was Muhammad Ali's trainer, said when Ali couldn't get a ride to the gym, he would run to the gym, and when he had finished, he would run all the way back home as well. His house to the gym was seven miles, and he would do this regularly. When interviewed on what he usually does, he said that he wakes up at 5.30 a.m. and did some light stretching, followed by a six-mile run, which he would usually be done in 40 minutes. That's just over six minutes a mile, something even Mo Farah would be proud of. He usually ran in heavy army-style boots, which makes it even more impressive. When it came to training, Ali adapted an old-school style of boxing training. He didn't really lift weights and relied on calisthenics training, like push-ups, sit-ups, and pull-ups. At times, he would do old-school Rocky IV-style training, like chop wood, hit sledgehammers on tires, and run. His speed for a heavyweight was blistering fast, and he would be able to evade oncoming punches with ease. Ali was known for his footwork as well as coining the Ali Shuffle, something that helped him confuse his opposition. He never had a set routine, and at different parts of his boxing career, he had different routines, but his routine that he usually did was like the below. Warm-up, side-to-sides, torso swivels, jumping around on toes to limber up, 15 minutes in total. When preparing for any kind of exercise, whether it's a cardio workout, strength training, or a team sport, it's important to take a few minutes to ease your muscles into exercise mode. Doing so can help you reap many fitness rewards. Shadow boxing, five by three minute rounds, working on footwork and speed punching, 30 seconds break. Most boxing trainers prefer that their fighters do their shadow boxing before engaging in any other daily exercise routines. The main purpose of this exercise, apart from getting the muscles ready for another activity, is usually to maintain a fighter's rhythm and show the fighter how they would look at that stage of training against a certain opponent. This could be important as fighters envision themselves facing their immediate future opponents. It usually gives fighters an idea of what is and what is not to be fixed. Heavy bag. Six by three minute rounds, working on combinations and stamina, 30 seconds break. Ali was known for the quickness of his hands in the ring and, in particular, he had one of the best left jabs in heavyweight boxing history. He would put his quick hands on display throughout his training sessions when he hit the speed bag. While he hit the speed bag the way John Bonham of Led Zeppelin hit the drums, Ali was not one to hit the heavy bag with much passion. Most heavyweight fighters will hit the heavy bag for 15 to 20 minutes in each practice session, but Ali would usually not go more than 5 minutes. He often appeared bored when hitting the heavy bag and was not usually interested in that activity. Sparring Sparring is considered one of the most important aspects of training. Boxers will spar nearly every day in training camp as they prepare for a fight. Yet, Ali never seemed to care much for sparring. He would get in the ring and box with his sparring partners, but he was not known for his effort. According to Ali's legendary trainer, Angelo Dundee, Ali would flash his skills for 10 to 15 seconds when sparring, but the rest of the time, he did not appear interested. Floor exercises. 15 minutes, 300 in total. Bicycle crunches, sit-ups with medicine ball, leg raises. To ensure that you follow a fully balanced exercise program, it is important to include floor work exercises as part of your all-round conditioning and train a number of key core muscle groups. Floor work exercises are essential for maintaining good posture, keeping you upright, holding you in, and making your entire body stronger. Speedball, nine minutes, one minute break. Coordination is one of the primary skills that boxers need to elevate their performance. Hand-eye synchronization is essential for landing hits where they are needed and for being able to react quickly when dealing with an onslaught of blows. It is also important when boxers are fighting that they are not overreaching or pulling their bodies into unsafe positions so as not to leave themselves vulnerable to their opponent. Skipping, 20 minutes. Ali always moved around while skipping, never staying in the same spot. Skipping is a frequent tool used by boxers to improve quickness and bring out natural athletic talent. 
Ali was among the best ever when it came to jumping rope, particularly among heavyweights. He knew how important an edge his quickness gave him over most opponents, and he would jump rope for 8 to 10 minutes every training session and work up a significant sweat for the rest of his gym activities. To be the best, you have to train like the best. Muhammad Ali knew this, and that is why he trained so hard. He usually did trash talk to his opponents and would often insult the person he would be fighting. However, after all this trash talking, he would never underestimate his opposition. He would train just as hard as he could and would train as if he was a challenger even though he was the champion. That is the mindset to have. Have the mindset of a champion, but have the hunger of a challenger. Ali inspired a whole generation of people to become better and become boxers. A lot of boxers, such as Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis, as well as many other boxers. But he didn't just serve as inspiration to boxers, he served as inspiration to millions of people from all walks of life. What he stood for and what he believed him made him the greatest. He wasn't just the greatest in the ring, but outside as well. Muhammad Ali was ahead of his time in terms of his training and his diet. Ali ate the usual three meals a day, with dessert and snacks mixed in throughout the day. For breakfast, poached eggs, wheat toast, and juice. He believed grapefruit juice helped keep the fat off his stomach and helped him feel good mentally. Lunch included fresh vegetables and lean meat. Dinner usually consisted of baked or broiled fish, chicken or turkey with a salad, according to his former nutritionist, David Jones. Jones would get up early to make smoothies, herbal teas, and other health drinks for Ali after his morning run. Ali's snacks included trail mix, nuts, or candy sweetened with honey. Ali abstained from coffee, soda, and alcohol, preferring distilled water and fruit juices. And he says he couldn't eat foods that he liked because if he did, he would gain weight, joking, if I just look at food, my belly gets bigger. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and also share with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more lifestyle videos, and make sure to turn on the notifications for future updates about your favorite personalities.